Now here is a picture of the man who constructed the, the bridge or whose under whose regime the bridge was constructed. So here is a picture of exactly how people used to transport themselves across the river. The place where the former president Rolex used his, his flight to fly under the bridge in the year 1979. We have a royal century here. As the water gush, you know, these are just. Uh... Hello, guys. Yeah, welcome back to Eventy Entertainment. This is your boy Eventy. You know how we do them. Yeah. Um, today, I am going to give you guys a little about one of the iconic bridges, bridge in Ghana here that um, a lot of people goes to that place whenever they arrive in Ghana and other stuff. We are going to. Um, learn more about the bridge where when the bridge was being constructed and the person who constructed that bridge yeah who make it happen and other things about our former president and other stuff around that bridge anything at all you need to know about that bridge around akosombo yeah we are going to give you guys the detailed information so if in case you are new here please do me a favor subscribe to my channel like the video and share as well so that we can keep on bringing you guys more videos now i'm around i'm at um, 6660 subscribers and now it left with less less than um, 400 subscribers for me to reach 7000 subscribers yeah so please guys help me to reach 7000 subscribers by sharing subscribing liking the video and telling others to subscribe thank you without wasting my time let's get into the video so let me know what you think about this video and what you think about the, the, this bridge and if in case you have been on this you have been to this place before let me know as well yeah thank you hello good morning all of you uh, my name is elom wanda and uh, i am your tour guide over here on the adomi bridge i'm going to share with you all the history and all the details that you would like to know about the Adomi Bridge. So once again, I welcome you to the Adomi Bridge. Yeah, first of all, this bridge was first constructed under the regime of the last governor of the Gold Coast, whose name is Sir Charles Noble Adam Clark. So the bridge was constructed between the years 1955 to 1956. Then Ghana gained independence in 1957. Now here is a picture of the man who constructed the bridge or whose, under whose regime the bridge was constructed. Sir Charles Noble Adam Clark. And before then, um, I have documented everything in the book my experience on the Adomi Bridge. Today, your experience on the Adomi Bridge. This book will guide you on everything, every detail that you would like to know, every history about the Adomi Bridge to really help you. My experience on the Adomi Bridge. Now, as I was saying, the bridge is a, it's a suspension bridge. Let's keep moving. The bridge is a suspension bridge, and uh, by that I mean it's hanging. And this is exactly how the down looks like. So it is in support, it is in hanging by the support of the cables you see around 40 of them. So because of the suspensive nature, when you're on top of it and heavy trucks are passing, you could feel it bumping and shaking and sometimes swinging from one side to another. Now, in history, before the construction of the bridge, people were living up there on the mountain and behind the mountain, and also down here. But how did they cross the river? They use something we call a raft. It's a kind of bamboos they assemble together, and they mostly stand on it and they paddle it to and fro. So here is a picture of exactly how people used to transport themselves across the river. 
before the construction of the bridge. Now, uh, again in history, here is the exact place where the former president Rollins used his flight to fly under the bridge in the year 1979. And the name of the airplane he used is called Air Maki. Air Maki. It's a kind of a fighter jet which, which is used for war. It normally carries two persons or one, the pilot and the shooter. So when there is war, they normally use it for distributing arms and ammunition. Now let's move on. Looking at this river, the river started its flows all the way from Burkina Faso. And it meandered round through to Akosumbo where it has been blocked. And they generated the power from there. Then it flows through this area to Adidome, to Sogakope, and join the sea at Ada Aqua Safari, where Castro got lost, unfortunately. Inside the river, we have close to 130 different species of aquatic life. They include crocodiles, catfish, tilapia, one man thousand lobsters, and many others. And on the river, you could see a number of islands. There are people living on some of them, whereas others are serving as a farmland for those indigents. Let's move on a bit. Now, coming back to the mechanical formation. Uh, you see this black rubber here? We call it expansion joint. This place is called expansion joint. It has two major purposes. One is to detach the bridge from the ground. So whatever happens on the ground, like earthquake, earth tremor, doesn't affect the bridge and vice versa. And the second purpose for this rubber is to serve as an uh, expansion purpose. As you know, metals expand and contrast when there's heat. So when there's so much heat, the plates underneath on which the concrete and the tar is poured stretches towards this area and it goes back when the weather is cold. That is for this purpose. We also have um, another expansion or suspension joints at the other extreme end. So in between them is about 1,096 feet, which is approximately 330 meters long. And that has become the length of this bridge. From here to the other side, 1,096 feet, which is approximately 330 meters. Okay, let's move on. We also have um, about 40 cables, you know, which hook the bridge against the top arc. And the top arc descends it down some big concrete. We may see it down there. Now, um, when you get close to the the cables, you realize that they are not just um, a raw metal or a chain, but they are small, small wires, which has been twisted together, which has been twisted together to form this rope. So the purpose is that it becomes more stronger than when it is just a raw metal or a, just a chain. That is why we say there is strength in unity. Just like when you put plenty brooms together, you twist it. It becomes very elastic and more difficult to break. So the same technology has been used here. 
And also, what's the purpose of the ark? Why is it not straight? The reason is that, you know, the bridge is meant for carrying weight. So, assuming, assuming there is uh, a lot of weight on it, and then the ark is straight, just flat straight. If the weight is too much for it, it bends this way. It rather bends this way. But once it's already bent towards carrying weight, it becomes difficult for it to, to bend again if the weight is too much. So that is the purpose of, of this. Now, um, there are a lot of things I would love to share with you. I'll leave you here to ask me questions. If you have any questions you ask me, and I'll be glad to answer you. But before then, remember, I have already documented everything inside the book. My experience on the Adam bridge. And it goes for 10 cities for a copy. 10 Ghana cities for a copy. Yes. So you can get it. And copy you have it. it on any social media platform like Amazon or something? Oh, not yet. But I have the soft copy. People who need it, I, I give it to them. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, you can give your number out so that if in case anybody after all is coming around, yeah. yeah, the person can call. You can you can reach me on plus two three three five five seven nine hundred nine four four plus two three three five five seven nine hundred nine four four. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So um. When people are coming here, what are some of the things that they have to expect, they should be expecting? Well, when you come here, number one, you should be expecting the history from me alone, Gwanda. You expect the history and more detail about the bridge. You also feel the bridge and feel how it is. You know, most of the time you hear it from far, that like, this is Adomi Bridge. Adomi Bridge is one of the uh, iconic landmarks of Africa. But you've not been here before. You don't know how the bridge works. You don't know the kind of feeling. In fact, people come here and then they, they come out with tears because they are afraid. So you come on it and then you feel it. You feel it. It's, it's an expedition. So you feel it and then you know how, how it vibrates, how it shakes, how it swings and how, how a life here is lived generally. And I'm expecting you to come here. Yeah. When they are coming, in terms of money or something, what are the preparations they have to make before they come? Well, uh, the government, the local government, the district assembly takes revenue here before you come. So um, it ranges. Children, children pay 50 pesos. And then basic school, that's basic school. Uh, GSS and SHS, they also pay one CD. And then adults pay two CDs. The foreigners also pay five CDs. That's the rate for, for coming to the other village. But when you come, there are a lot of things you are going to experience, which will really, really make you wow. <laughs> yeah, I want to ask, if in case people come here and they come and have um, a feeling of the bridge and other stuff and maybe they want to go to a restaurant to eat or something, have a dinner and other stuff, where are they going There to? are a number of resorts all around this area. We have gardens, we have hotels, we have restaurants, we have a lot. If you want me to mention their names for you, I'm not really advertising for any of them, but if you want me, I can mention a number of them to you. But if you come, just on the lake, there are a number of hotels and resorts and which you can really feel comfortable and enjoy yourself to the maximum. Yeah. Okay. Do they have um, international uh, dishes and other stuff? Or sure, they have. They and have. the local ones as they well? Have, they have. We have, we have a four-star hotel here. So the four-star hotel should be able to have the uh, We have uh, Royal Saint here. We also have wow. it, 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 this year. Where is it? This year, just, just uh, about uh, less than five minutes drive from here. If you're on the that pool, 
Nigeria is around around that area. Just the curve where Central is. Okay, okay. Wow. Then this is the place that um, they did the wedding. I never, I never it's knew. A very beautiful place. Okay. So the, the, this place, it's uh, how do they call this place? This place is Atimpoku, and then uh, about 15 minutes drive, you get to Akosombo Township, and that's where the Akosombo Dam is also. Mm -hmm. And we have many other places around. Mm -hmm. The river here, is it because of the construction of the dam that make the river uh, flow over this place or...? Uh, not really. You know, there was a river here initially before it has been re-expanded because of the dam. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just as I said, the, the, flow, the flow started all the way from Burkina Faso. So, uh, when it meander around to, to Akosombo, because of the power, they have to block it. So, if you check from my book, they block the whole river. This is how the whole river was blocked at Akosombo. And then, as they blocked it, they allowed the water to gush through these pipes. They are six in number. And these six pipes contain turbines. Two each, so they have 12 turbines in them. So, as the water gush, you know, these are just uh, pipes. This big river cannot flow through it all easily, so it forces itself to, to gush through it. And as, as it gushes through it, uh, as it gushes through it, the you know, it's it forces the turbines to turn, and once the turbine turns, it generates the power. So then from there, all over here, it flows down, down, down. And it was blocked again at Akuse. Yes, and that is why this place is called the Volta Lake. We have Volta River, Volta Lake, and when you're going up to, you can meet the, the uh, how do you call it, white Volta, red Volta, uh, and black Volta, and then, yes, uh -huh, up, 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 up. Uh -huh. But this place is called the, the Volta Lake simply because it has been blocked at both ends. And you know, lakes don't flow. So the flow here is quite down, very, very, very slow as compared to the other places. Yeah. Yes. And do you have anything else to um, add? Um, I just want to say, get a copy of this book, which will really, really help you. If you are coming to Ghana, make sure you get a copy of this book. Um, the book will really help you. It will tow you around, around this area, especially on the Adomi Bridge, Kosombo, and its environs. It will really help you. It will really put enough smile on your face. Yes, ABNT Entertainment. I'm encouraging you to subscribe to this channel. And there are a lot of beautiful things about Ghana and beyond that you are going to watch from ABNT Entertainment. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. I really appreciate and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share the video and like. And watch the video to the end so that